Yo, JD here. And as you can see, we are on F122 as always. And we are back with another hot lap and setup. This time at the Red Bull Ring in Austria. Because of course we have it this weekend. And yeah, very similar to Spain where this track for me in the past on pretty much every F1 game, I've had great success in probably one of my best tracks for race pace. But in terms of executing the lap, I find it incredibly hard to hook up. And although the lap is very short and the game describes this track as being very easy, I would actually argue sometimes it's one of the hardest tracks to get the maximum out of due to how little corners there actually are on the track so you have to fully commit to every single one if you want to be at the top of the time sheets and now if I'm doing a lot of time trial on this game it's pretty crazy how different you have to drive and I think this is why a lot of people really struggle to be consistent in the race or if they're league racing or even in a five lap or 25% because you just cannot push as hard as you do in a time trial the the effort you put in and just the commitment is just on a completely different level and I think that's some mistake a lot of people make they just try and use that same commitment from a time trial lap and apply it into an online qualifying lap where there's tyre wear and tyre temperatures and the same when they're doing race laps itself and you have to understand the level of commitment is very different so yeah, it's going to be quite interesting when league racing starts, but I feel my pace has probably been the fastest I've been on an F1 game for the past couple of years, so I'm really looking forward to that. And yeah, this lap itself, I could definitely get a bit of time in Sector 1 and Sector 3, but Sector 2, where I lose the most time, I just don't understand where I lose the time, to be honest. It's pretty crazy. I have used a slightly different setup to some people around me, just to make it a little bit more stable and race friendly. So I felt their ones were a little bit loose on the rear end, but that was a lap and we do a three minute 8.97. I think if I can read that correctly. So let's go break this down as usual. So the theme of this track is, there isn't really so many reference points, but it's after a certain point. So coming into here, I'm showing a hundred meter board, but it's actually envision your car. Once you've passed that, that's when you'll be braking and turning in. Try and do a very late apex. So really use the track as much as you can. Kiss this curb so you don't want to be mounting it at all like you did on the previous game. On the exit here, run as wide as you can, but avoid this yellow sausage curb on the exit. Make sure you get the DRS as well. So really try and go deep into that corner. This one here, you want to be maximizing the track as much as you can. And very similar to turn one. Look at that, that's 100 beats board again, but you don't actually break there, you break just after it. So as we go into it, just after it break, you can see how much of the track we are using as well. So quite a significant portion of it. And then going into here, avoiding that yellow sausage curb. So get as close as you can without hitting the sausage curb itself. And then on the exit, I actually avoid this curb completely because I want to get the best traction possible. Make sure you get in the DRS once again and now coming into here use the cam off the corner so it's a downhill corner use all of the track again and very similar to turn one and turn three after the 100 meter board that's where you want to be braking so picture the rear of your car going past that use all the track again try and get as close as you can kissing the curb and avoid the curb on the outside because you really want to maximize the traction as much as you can so as tight to the right as you can and then this one just after the 50 meter board go on the brakes downshift into fifth and then get as tight as you can. So slow in, fast out. Use all of this track on the exit. And you can see one wheel still on the white line. But as we come into here, if you look at this part of a track, once you go past that of your whole car, that's where you want to be braking and turning in. So coming into here, slow in, fast out. Use all of this track on the exit. One wheel on the white line once again, because you just have to maximize everything around this circuit now coming into here i actually used the curb coming into this one and you can see the brakes 
are being applied just before the 50. So just before the 50 meters with that white line as well. That's where you're breaking and turning in. This time on this game, you don't actually want to mount this curb. You kind of want to kiss it so half your car on it only. It's all of the track on the exit. And once your wheel is straight for around a second, that's where you want to be turning in, avoiding this yellow sausage curb once again. And then on the exit, trying to use as much of the track as you can. We could really maximize it as much as we could. We're going across the line, it's a three minute point eight. And yeah, I was pretty content with that. This is one of the tracks that over a lap I've always struggled with, especially in that middle sector. Even last game, it was a bit of my Achilles heel, but that was enough for seventh, the third fastest no assist runner. And you can see quite a few people. There's so many people on PlayStation and who are rapid as well. I was quite happy to be seventh here and yeah, the third fastest. So with the no assist, seems ABS is quite a good track for the ABS in itself. But the wings here, most people are running 1813. I use 1913. So just a little click more on the front wing, just that rotation. 60-50 seems to be a norm. Right, right, left, left seems to be the norm. And we've got 8-1 and 5-1. 8-5-ride right heights. This inverted ride right height seems to be a bit of a norm now as well, because I think I use 6-5 at Spain. And as you saw, the brakes 150 and maximum tire pressures. So thank you so much. I really hope you're enjoying this series. Please give it a like if you do. Make sure you subscribe for more F122 content. Next week, I should be dipping into the world of league racing with a few social races and maybe back to live streaming as well. So I really look forward to that. Hope you enjoyed the Grand Prix this weekend and I'll catch you very, very soon. Peace.